What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Maxine in this video here today. So Maxine we know is a month away for its wide release, but Maxine is actually going to be coming to theater sooner for some of us as A24 is actually planning a nationwide early access screening that will take place on July 3rd. Now, many of you can already go online and check your local AMC listings or even Regal, whatever uh, theater chain you like to go to. And you'll spot under the coming soon section. If you type in Maxine, it should populate for an early access screening that's to be announced as far as like tickets are concerned related to Maxine coming out on July 3rd nationwide in an early access screening. We also got a brand new trailer today that seemingly highlights an interesting character protesting in a crowd of people who seem to be against the horror genre and the material Hollywood is advertising to the youth through their films. Now his sign read, Satan stole my daughter, but his shirt reveals what looks like Lorraine's face. Now this of course is the character Jenna Ortega played in X who of course did not make it in a very shocking way. For, for me, this has to be Lorraine's dad because the image is exactly like Lorraine's face. And I'll also say from what I've heard, this man, whether he's Lorraine's dad or not, is expected to be a key player in this story. So the trailer also confirms that Lily Collins is playing an actress named Molly Bennett, I think was her last name, as I've been tweeting for a while now. But what it doesn't let us know is that Molly has quite the history in Hollywood. You'll find out more about that history when Maxine drops in theaters in less than a month. There's also this moment in the trailer where Maxine is approaching this green door. And all I will say to tease you guys is that the green door is to Maxine what the red door is to Insidious. You can take from that what you will, interpret that however you want to. You'll get all of your context in less than a month when Maxine arrives in theaters. Now, the trailer does have, it focuses on a lot of callbacks, at least for Maxine, to what happened in X by us seeing Max at one point opening the door. She finds this package on the ground. And then she starts playing the tape inside and in the background behind her, you can see what looks like Leon played by Moses Sumney sleeping. Obviously, we know what's on this tape. You can tell by her face what is on this tape. So I don't think I have to say it. However, this won't be the only traumatic event Maxine is forced to think about during the events of Maxine. As I mentioned on Twitter, something else happened in 1979. See, her father, who, by the way, her father is actually named Ernest, apparently. He started facing some major accusations and a massive event went down afterwards. The context of all of that will be revealed in a few short weeks when Maxine arrives in theaters. But yes, the something else I was teasing on Twitter is related to something that happened with Maxine's dad. Now, as far as the Puritan in the context of the Puritan, the trailer starts out by hyping up the release of the Puritan 2 as the sequel to a movie that possessed the nation or something like that. So it lets us know that the Puritan is in the possession, possession subgenre of horror. If you recall in one of my last videos, I said, if you want to do more entries into this franchise, why not just do movie versions of the actual Puritan that is being filmed during Maxine? Bring back Lily Collins, give us a full-fledged movie of that, Bring back Mia Goth. If you want to do a fifth entry into the X franchise, do the Puritan 2 with Mia Goth as I think I said her name was Veronica Rutland. But I think that would be a, a nice thing to do. See some possession type movies in this franchise. And I will say that as far as everything else goes, as far as what I've been hyping about the film, I am glad that the trailer, the TV spots, everything that I have been saying about this film is seemingly being backed up by what you guys are seeing in these trailers. I know a lot of you are looking forward to this movie. A lot of you have been listening to my videos when we weren't getting any information. I was coming to you, giving you all the information I could think of to get you excited. And then the trailer came and it just made a lot of you even more excited. We got a few glimpses of the killer in the trailer as well. He looks like he's wearing nothing but black. In comparison, I could, because I could think of describing and comparing this person to the man in black looks like the man in black will it end up being a man we'll have to wait and see but going off of the trailer it looks like it's a man so you guys can let me know what did you think about this trailer down in the comment section below also there was a phone number at the end of this new trailer encouraging us to call this number to join the maxine minx fan club i texted the number not really someone who's all that invested in this just yet i want i just want to see what kind of updates 
come through related to the movie but it welcomes you to the maxine minks fan club it tells you to stay tuned for more updates as you will get them i guess as we approach the release of the film which is less than a month away at this point like i mentioned earlier check your theater chains type in maxine you should see something under the coming soon section i know it's on the amc app at least where it'll say coming soon maxine early access screening it takes place on july 3rd a24 is planning to do this nationwide tickets will be on sale soon i don't know when i just learned about this happening yesterday and then i fact checked it by actually searching on amc apps and other theater chains so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to maxine why or why not let me know all that down below oh and before i get out of here though i believe there's actually some sort of sneak peek re-release of x or pearl one or the other might be both happening on june 18th and if you're attending this re-release of x or pearl I, again i don't know if it's one or the other or both but if you attend this re-release that's taking place on june 18th you will be given access to a sneak peek of footage from maxine now if i were to guess what this footage could potentially be it most likely is going to be maxine auditioning or walking into the audition we see her walking into with elizabeth bender and the casting director or whoever that person is a uh, casting manager that's casting them at the audition or taking the auditions i should say with elizabeth present watching the person audition i think that's what the sneak peek could be and if it's not that then it most likely will be a glimpse at max's childhood as i've said we will get in the upcoming film i myself really do not plan on going to this re-release of x or pearl i have no interest in seeing those movies again right now in theaters the only movie i want to see in theaters right now from this franchise is maxine i've seen those other two movies enough i know that they're great i love them i don't need to see them again in theaters i've seen x in theaters what three times at this point all eyes are on maxine for me i am ready to experience this movie i'm ready to get all the context of it on screen i'm ready to see everyone knock it out of the park they have a wonderful cast i hope all of you end up loving it when you see it if you don't love it that's too bad but i think what we have on our hands here is going to be one of the greatest conclusions to a trilogy one of the greatest trilogies we've had in the horror genre in quite a while since this is now being marketed as the final chapter of the x saga cannot wait to see this movie i am i am in firm belief that this will be the greatest slasher film of this year and that it will go over well for a lot of slasher fans i will say that there probably are aspects of this movie that when you come out of it you'll be like ah oh, that was predictable but like i said it's all about the execution if it's predictable and good that's a pass that's a home run to me let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video